Elon Musk, Jensen Huang, and a lot of other smart people are wrong about the future of robotics. Let me explain myself a little bit. At CES 2025, Jensen Huang said that the chat GPT moment for robotics is just around the corner. He's right, but robotics needs an even more important moment. Right now, humanoid robots have the spotlight. They're on the edge of becoming a reality, and for good reason. They capture the imagination, they get people's attention, and represent one of the pinnacles of human achievement. But they're not ready to give the world what it really needs. To illustrate my point, let me take you back about a century to the last time a mechanical technology was poised to change the world so profoundly. And that would be the birth of the automotive industry. Names like Olds, Chrysler, Benz, and Royce probably ring a bell. They were pioneers in the automotive industry, making novel innovations and creating fine cars. But can you tell me their first names? If you can, you're either a car enthusiast, or you really like history and have a really good memory for names. But to most of us, we only know them by the cars they produced. Let's throw out another name. Ford. Can you tell me his first name? I bet if you can't, it's on the tip of your tongue. You knew it at some point. It was Henry. Henry Ford. But why was Henry Ford so remembered? What did he do? Well, he started a car company. And he produced a car called the Model T. What was so special about the Model T? It wasn't fast, or comfortable, or easy to drive. It didn't have the latest innovations, and you couldn't even choose what color it was. You just got black. That was the color it was available in. But it was a good car, and it was cheap. And for the first time in history, buying a car made sense for the average person. The price of ownership was competitive with a horse, and it took far less care. And now ordinary farmers, laborers, and salesmen were buying these cars and made them a part of everyday life. Right now we have all these companies lining up to produce humanoid robots. It seems every week there's another one. But these machines are expensive and complicated. They're all racing to be the first one to mass produce these things. And I say these companies are running the wrong race. Robotics doesn't need its chat GPT moment so much as it needs its Henry Ford moment. The point where robotics no longer become the tool of large companies to reduce their bottom line by replacing workers, where they can work beside people, the farmers out in the fields, or just help around the house so that the person who comes home from work dead tired can sit down and relax or even in countries where people wonder if they're going to have enough food to eat before they go to bed. A small robot that can work in the fields, not consuming food, but helping them grow it for themselves. Don't get me wrong. I'm excited for the first time I see a humanoid robot in the wild. I think it's a fascinating project, and I think it should be done. But it's not the answer that the world needs. And as I survey the landscape of this industry, I realize that at the moment it's fallen to you and me, the thinkers and tinkerers and home experimenters who are working on these things at home to try to create the robotic future we need. So that's my opinion anyway. I honestly can't wait to see how this video ages. If I'm wrong, the future looks incredible. If I'm right, well, I can say I told you so. See you next time. I'm Joe.